Alright everybody, so the Nintendo Switch comes out in a few hours and I kind of want to talk about my predictions and some things I want, so here we go. But first up, bear in mind that this is also kind of influenced by things I've heard and some rumours. First up, the price. The price will be £199, also £249.99 USD. There will be only one bundle at launch and that will be the 64 gigabyte Splatoon bundle. What will come in the box is a HDMI cable, a USB Type-C cable, the dock, the Switch tablet, the Joy-Cons and the Joy-Con grip. Also with a digital code for Splatoon. Now, the games that I think will be shown off first party wise for launch are these. Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, Splatoon, Smash Brothers, Mario RPG, the one being made with Ubisoft, and Mario Maker. Now, here's some of the confirmed third party games, also for launch. Lego City Undercover, Skyrim Definitive Edition, NBA 2K17, Dragon Quest. Now here's some I think that we're going to see in a sizzle reel showing multiple third party games. Dark Souls 3, Guardians of the Galaxy by Telltale Games, FIFA 17, Batman by Telltale Games, Bioshock The Collection and a Final Fantasy game. I think this may be Final Fantasy 7 the remake. Now I think they're going to close it off with two things. First up, teasing off three games and these will be a new Metroid game made by a Western studio it will be in the vein of Halo a 3d Mario game the one that we saw at the reveal trailer and Pokemon Earth doesn't really need explaining does it but I think they will end with Beyond Good and Evil 2 this game has been a long time coming and we've been hearing rumors for months now being concept art I think it's time and I think it's true that the Nintendo Switch will get 12 months exclusivity now here's some things I want to see now I don't know whether we'll actually get these but here we go so I want to see new IP being shown off at this event or at least teased I want Nintendo to see that they have gamers and fans that are adults that want to play maybe some mature themed games games that have full story and narrative focused plot not necessarily based on colourful characters in a colourful world I think Nintendo really needs that at this point I also want a sizzle reel when it comes to the apps look does it need Netflix day one I'm going to say yes because the whole thing about a console in 2016, 2017 is convenience. You have devices doing multiple things to be convenient. So I have Netflix on about 20 devices in my house so at any given time if I want to use Netflix I can. So I want there to be Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube. I want there to be the ability to stream our games straight to Twitch or YouTube or both but I have a feeling that Nintendo is going to completely drop their whole you know YouTube copyright thing they do like I think this may be the beginning of a new Nintendo because look at what the Switch is and what it offers and look at the Wii U like before the Wii U came out, I did not see all these third-party manufacturers make all these different accessories. So I think maybe tonight we will see a brand new Nintendo. At least I hope we will. Anyway, that's it for today. Until next time, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Hit that bell for notifications. I am out. Have a good day.